SQSQ, this is W9MGT here, come back. SQSQ, this is W9MGT here, come back. This is at 10.44 and I have something to say. have changed uh, from last week and I had a big 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 realization um, not later than actually a couple of hours ago um, so it's Friday it's raining outside my lovely female cat is next to me I've got a coffee and um, yes so I am ready to talk about this so in 1986, 1987, um, I was a student of an international college which is based in South Wales in England and it's called the UWC uh, Atlantic College, uh, belongs to the group of the United World Colleges. And anyway, so we were um, volunteering uh doing stuff etc and workshops and blah 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 and we were sort of like uh, young uh, delegates uh, for the UN uh, those were of course um, different years if you think I'm mean, generation X well, which means that when I went to study in an international college you have to remember that apartheid was still a thing uh, in South Africa Mandela was still in prison Berlin Wall was still up, we didn't have Tiananmen Square, we didn't have a lot of other things that happened all afterwards. So, uh, we didn't have Libya trying to, well, we had those were the, the years in which Libya tried to uh, bomb Italy. Um, anyway, so those were politically and international were years which I always felt were very different. We also had these very big figures uh, that were very inspiring. We had, uh, of course, Mandela. We had Perez de Keyer, who was the Secretary General of the UN at the time. Uh, we had Mother Teresa of Calcutta. We had um, thinkers. So we we saw still a people that could have been like Che Guevara as as you know rebels. And we all read On the Road by Kerouac. Um, I. Yes, so we were somehow, as a generation, more politically active in a way. So anyway, so and then because things in my life went in a completely different way, uh, I kept on volunteering for the UN when I was back uh, back home in Italy, and I was writing pieces um, that I could upload, and it was nothing major. And then things fizzled out, and other stuff happened in my life, and I got married, and I got lost, and and then anyway, so. I've always said, and I even wrote in a blog post on my website about how the color blue has always been a color important to me. I and mean, I'm thinking about also like the blue helmets and the blue colors of uh, of the UN. Um, I've always been a UN woman. And um, when I... Um, when I wrote Rebel Therapy... Uh, one of the last, the last chapter was all about um, a political involvement. I'm talking, I'm not talking about political with a small p. I'm talking about political with a capital p. It's political is in society. Sir. When I started doing art uh, later in 2018 and then 2019, and especially when I went to university, I have actually learned how every creative pursuit is a political pursue and I uh, rebel uh, <laughs> about that at the very beginning but I have to admit and hand on my heart I was wrong I was wrong and uh, it is true every single creative endeavor uh, any creative output anything any thought that we have actually is a political political stand it's taking a political stand so I was I felt compelled uh, to join the um, 
the conference,、uh, the CSW about women, which is the CSW 68. Uh, for the UN as as a delegate,、uh, a delegate we 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 are just women who、um, participate, we listen, we we network, we communicate, we create things, etc. And、um, I felt compelled to do that because I think that of all the organizations and of all the.、Um, Groups that are out there, charities, etc.、Um, I still think that the UN is the one that I would go for.、Um, Amnesty International, very published, probably like a very close second. But I've always, always loved what、um, UN,、uh, the UN has always done politically for women,、um, international for refugees, etc. So this is this is this goes in my mind on one side. So think about this. Uh, I, I feel this call, and that is this UN participation, just as a delegate, which means just sitting there and listening and jotting down notes, and then network with other women. There are about six thousand delegates just from the UK, which are going to meet up online. So it's a big, big thing.、Um, so this goes in my mind on one side. On the other side, I had、uh, a weekend of.、Um, <laughs> Cutting down ties and and freeing myself from shackles from the past,、uh, I did a purging of about four hundred and something contacts that I had on my phone that I, it was pointless to keep on having, like old boyfriends, people that I, I mean I spoke to for the last time thirty years ago or twenty years ago. It was pointless to have. So I did this very clear big purging. Then I even went on the、uh, Google Photos, and I've deleted so much stuff that was、um, absolutely useless to keep. And in in all of these、um, purging and acts of cleaning and feeling that I was leaving shackles behind,、um, I even、uh, dealt with some of the paperwork of an old job that I did. I was working in a rehab center for about three years, solid, and I designed a program for the rehab center, which was a, a daily program, Monday to Friday, two hours out of the morning. And this was then sort of like a rolling every six week. It was strange. So six weeks program every day, two hours in the morning, and it was a rolling thing. Because I've decided to take all this material that I've collected, all this work that I've done, and I want to repackage the whole thing and then sell it and do some、uh, workshops about about that. So again, take a step back. Don't forget there is one strand of the purging, the other strand is the UN, and then there is this other thing about、um, repackaging some of the. Uh, work that I've done and sell it in workshops, and so I was I was trying to make sense in my mind of where to go forward because synchronistically,、uh, I had a lot of psychotherapeutic clients who actually decided to、um, change and not to uh, come. Um, um, the reason is always the same one: people are depressed because they've got no money, and if they've got no money, they have no money to come to seek、uh, therapy. Of course, and this is, of course, then it becomes the us therapists. We don't get any money; we get depressed, and blah blah. And one of the things that I was talking to one of the、uh, clients today, and we were bouncing off ideas because that was his last、uh, session.、Um, how therapy to me. Is not even therapy anymore. How therapy to me must get like at the confluence of different、um, models in a kind of like a Venn diagram.、Uh, so there is the professional, of course, therapeutic model. There is the pastoral model、uh, that supports people from a. I would say more moral and spiritual perspective. Then there is the、uh, let's call it like the curriculum and academic model,、uh, where there are learning skills and reading books and informations and and etc.、Uh, then there is, as I said, therapeutic models, which to me is always grounded in Carl Rogers.、Uh, um, 
uh, core conditions. But then, of course, I expanded from an existential perspective and with a Jungian lens, looking at things through a Jungian lens. And then, of course, to me, it's very important, the coaching and the mentoring model, which means managing the stress, staying positive, uh, doing proactive things, doing the one thing, listening to uh, motivational um Uh, speeches and reading books of self-empowerment etc and then very important the philosophical model which is meaning that applying philosophical uh, skills I think the knowledge and the experience and addressing dilemmas from a philosophical slash existential and that's the connection to me with existential therapy from an existential perspective all of this to say that When the client left, I looked at a candle that I lit in the morning, which I and I asked my spirit guides and my energy around. I said, I really want to know where to go. I want to know where to go next because clients are coming down and in number, and I, um, I'm sure that because of this PhD work that I'm doing, things are changing and shifting. So, in which direction do you want me to change and shift? And I think that to me is that. I think that therapy is no longer important as it was important at the beginning because to me therapy has evolved in what I would call a PD tutoring, like a personal development tutoring, where there is the all these models coming together. And of course, I do strongly believe in empowering people through education. I don't think that there is anything as important as education, as a starting point. Um, because education doesn't mean reading books. Education means being educated about how life works and how your body works and how much you might need a gym and a good diet. And and the, the approach to education means really... Uh, Let's call it that like your brain has got different functions and then there is this function normally are locked within themselves. And by education, I always say that there is the these uh, walls in between these various functions becomes like permeable. So knowledge goes from one function onto another one fluctuates and then we can recycle and then we can make our own neural pathways new neural pathways but of course now I'm going I feel like I'm preaching so I think that I probably should shut up I'm just having a sip of coffee mm. and so and so this is where I find myself today while I'm talking to you at the confluence of these new and UN uh, women conference uh, this month of March where I do strongly believe in empowering women by education in changing my own direction in work and uh, uh, going towards sort of like this more personal development tutoring uh, form of uh, healing approach no I don't like the word healing it's overused and abused like therapy, I can't stand those words anymore. So yes, so this is this is actually where I'm going, the package of whatever it is that I'm offering. And uh, yeah, let me see if I can actually make you hear Virginia purring, which I think is a good, nice close. You are purring, are you? Mm. So thank you for listening again and I'm really grateful to everybody who actually takes the time. I can see the tally of the numbers of the people listening and yeah, that's good. So keep up the good work and I'll try to do exactly the same and I'm going to go now and move things around. Ciao! You have listened to the voice of W9 in honor of the movie Contact, MGT or Matilde Blubich Tomat. A many a researcher, an artist, a writer, 
and an existential psychotherapist based in the UK. You might want to check my website at matildetoma.com. That is M-A-T-I-L-D-E-T-O-M-A-T dot com. And my Instagram account. This was W9MGT here. Over and out. <laughs>